Hey, let's talk about Spider-Man 2. No, not that Spider-Man 2, my favorite thing pretty much ever, uh, but the Spider-Man 2 Insomniac game uh, that was announced a couple of months ago. After that, the news and everything, the whole gaming news scene got really crazy, but now that things are quieting down, I think it's time to take a minute and you know talk about what I want because this one is pretty highly anticipated for me. Yes, I think we're all trying not to get ourselves too overly hyped up for things nowadays in gaming, but uh, with Insomniac and with how the first game came out, I, I can't help but still look forward to this and feel at least somewhat safe about it. I'm actually curious to see how many bold choices it can make, but uh, specifically, we're jumping off of uh, two of one of my favorite games most recently, Spider-Man, which originally released for PS4, but also Miles Morales. I think like as a, as a, as a mix together, as a soup, a Spider-Man soup, if you will, I think both of those things are fantastic. Uh, Spider-Man PS4 is one of my favorite games ever. Now, I kind of have to put aside my critical reviewer brain for that, you know, because I can point out some, some little flaws with the game here and there, but as a Spider-Man fan, and really a Spider-Man video game fan, to the point where I've played pretty much every single one, even the bad ones, and stuck with them all, just because I love the Spider-Man experience. As someone who, who, who loves those things, I was really, really satisfied with it. So uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna keep jumping back to Spider-Man and Miles Morales throughout this video uh, because specifically there's a couple of things I really, really want to see in this game. Uh, the first, let's talk gameplay stuff. So number one, I think the game could do with more boss battles and more enemy types. The combat and, and kind of patrolling the city after a while could feel repetitive and a lot of Spider-Man games struggle with that. So more enemy types, can definitely help with that. More challenge types, uh, more activities can also help with that. Bring back saving the little girl's balloon and pizza deliveries, God damn it. But also along with that, uh, the boss battles seem to be where the games really excelled, so I'd like them to kind of double down on that if they could. I mean, the fact that uh, they did tease both Craven and Venom, that's two villains right there already. I would love to see you kind of squaring off against maybe the same villain a couple of times throughout the game to make it more and more compelling. That's just me spitballing. I don't make video games. But the other thing really important that I would like to see is some tweaks to the swinging. Now, swinging in Spider-Man games is my favorite thing. I've talked about it in videos before. It's like my turn off, turn off your brain type of thing where I can just endlessly swing in a Spider-Man game for hours. Even the crappy ones. If you give me uh, open world New York and the ability to be Spider-Man, even on the mobile game version, I will swing around and have fun. I just like Spider-Man that much. I, I go to the games for that experience. And Spider-Man, Insomniac, PS4, whatever you wanna call it, really did do a great job. Uh, there is webs attaching to buildings. There's some decent momentum-based stuff, uh, but I would like them to go a little bit more all in on some of the physics mechanics and stuff uh, from the original Spider-Man 2 game. Now, I don't want to sound like some weird old millennial or what I, whatever I am, but there were certain elements of that game that I think could really tie over great. Now, if you go back and play that, like I'll admit, you know, Spider-Man 2 is aged a little crusty, but uh, there are some little tiny gameplay elements that I would really like to see implemented here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the ability to hold a trigger to kind of like oomph your swing, to give yourself a little bit more of a speed boost momentum push to your swing. And, and, and depending on where you apply that little speed boost in the pendulum of the swing affects the whole thing super cool, along with that, being able to hold the jump button and then release off of a web. Now, Spider-Man gave you the ability to unlock and hold the jump button for a higher jump, that's great, that's halfway, but to, the ability to do that on a web would be super nice. Just those little added uh, uh, degrees of control would be really, really nice to see. Also, it's a very small thing, uh, but something you don't see too often, but there's a couple scenes in Amazing Spider-Man 2, the Andrew Garfield movie, uh, where he's swinging, and as he swings, he also climbs up his rope a little bit. Uh, just That's weird, but I would like to see that implemented into a game. And of course, uh, the ability to shoot a web, shoot a web, and pull yourself, and slingshot. Every Spider-Man game needs that. Please put that in the game. But really, the other thing I'm like really excited for, like the gameplay, like cool, yeah, punching bad guys, but what I'm really excited for is the story because I thought Spider-Man really told an excellent Spider-Man story, one that felt 
ripped from the comics. Granted a new and different interpretation, which is why I like these things, I wanna see different interpretations of my favorite characters, but one that really fit like a, like a warm apple pie and was what I was into uh, in terms of how it portrayed Peter Parker and just the general vibe, but still taking some big interesting moves here and there, like the end of the game. Spoilers uh, with the death of, can I say it? Spoiler, three, two, one, Aunt May. They killed Aunt May. Crazy, right? So I'm really curious to see how they can carry that as a through line to the next story. I would love to see Peter grappling with that. I love a Peter Parker that has real problems that last more than like five minutes within the story, like real genuine issues that he's grappling with. That for me is is what I want from this stuff, and they can really do a lot with that. Now, Spider-Man Miles Morales did a great job telling a Miles story, right? But I would really, like, I, I don't want them to gloss over the whole thing they have together, the mentorship. Obviously, we see them together here. There's probably gonna be some sort of swapping type of thing, but I hope they don't gloss over or skip that mentorship stuff, because I think that can make for such an exciting story. Miles had to figure out some stuff on his own in his game, uh, but I think the Peter side of it is pretty interesting too, where you know Peter Parker is young, and for him to be teaching somebody younger, that always makes for like some compelling storytelling, so, so I, I wanna see that. But on the, on the flip side, maybe uh, the fact that we do have a Miles that already is pretty developed and pretty damn cool, maybe we can do something else with them here. I, I don't, uh, the potential is really high at least. And while we're here, I'll just be like a petty fan. Fix Peter Parker's face. I'm sorry, I'm still one of those guys. The change just really threw me off. I, I don't know, uh, you know, whatever. Gotta just get used to it. I, I will, I'm an adult, I can grow up. But let's talk the villain stuff. It's bold, it's pretty interesting. So like even Venom, the way Venom, Venom has been teased and set up already from the previous games, leads me to believe it's gonna be a little bit different. Granted, the tease we got of Venom in the Spider-Man 2 trailer seems straight up traditional Venom. He says, we are Venom. You got Tony Todd voicing him, which I think is like the most excellent choice ever, uh, but the setup and with the Osborne involvement with, with the symbiote possibly makes this seem like it could be a little weird, a little different. Are we gonna get a Harry Osborne story? I don't know, I think that'd be pretty sweet. I thought the Norman that they set up was pretty compelling, but I, I'd love to see where the hell they could take that. But I do almost expect that, man. Like I, I do kind of, like on the one hand I see this and I'm like, we could get traditional awesome, like real ass Venom, like Venom, 100% Venom, right? Or they could totally flip our expectations on, on our heads and give us something kind of different. Cause like I said, the setup is a little different. Who knows? Uh, there's a lot of potential for them to even spin off this game into a lethal protector type thing, which I would really like to see. But um, speaking of that, uh, Craven. I, Craven the Hunter is also teased here, and uh, that's cool as hell. I think it's exciting for casual fans too, who haven't really seen much of a good interpretation of Craven yet out of the comics. So uh, the potential is really high there for something interesting. I see a lot of people thinking that like, what if they base it on Craven's last hunt? Cause that's like the big one that comes to mind for a lot of people in terms of comics. But I think what they could do is take some elements from that, like kind of do like a mini Craven's last hunt. I would like to see that specifically like, uh, you know, with Peter technically being taken out of commission for a while. I, I think there's potential there, but I think the game does have an opportunity to really try and take a look at how weird it is that there's like a jungle hunter man running around New York City. Uh, it's a very comic book concept and it comes off very well in comics and I'm curious to see how they can, how they can push that here. There has been talk of a darker tone and I wonder what's gonna come of that. I mean, granted it's definitely because of Venom being being in the story, but how else can it go dark? Are we gonna see more troubles between Peter and Mary Jane? Is Miles gonna face new personal issues on his own? Uh, is the Aunt May dying thing gonna really put a, put a dour vibe on everything? Or is it gonna be rated M? It's probably not gonna be rated M. I don't, sorry, I don't wanna like, you know, but who knows, man? But that's my list here. Those are the things I'm really hoping for. Uh, some advanced swing mechanics in ways that, very, that I very pettily specifically want. Uh, number two, uh, just really hammering home and, and really doing a great job on the story like they did in their other two games. And please just keep that momentum going because it is so sick. Uh, and also, uh, what are we gonna do with the villains? How crazy can we go here? Are we gonna do new interpretations of them? Are we gonna have them inspired by other books? Let's see where this goes. I also think that this is a good point. I think Marvel's getting into a groove a little bit with some of their games. This could be the game for them to kind of, 
you know, introduce some other Marvel characters. Could you imagine? You know, if you ask me, there's nothing better than Daredevil showing up in a Spider-Man game. Always love to see it, but they could do it. <sighs> Who knows? Like, get, let's get some sort of thing going here. It doesn't have to be hyper-connected like the MCU, but I would like to see it a little bit. They're getting a groove. Guardians of the Galaxy is awesome. So I don't know. Again, I'm just spitballing. I don't make these games. I'm just having fun talking about them. So I want to hear from you guys as well. If you got your own list, like your own top five things you want, four things you want, three. However, let me know your demands. <laughs> um, where do you think they could take that story? What would you like to see that in story be inspired by? Uh, what, kind, what else would you want gameplay mechanics wise, a location change, anything? Let me know what you want down in the comments. I wanna hear from you. Do I say click the like button anymore? I don't even know how that works with YouTube changing everything, but uh, thank you guys for watching for real and having my back. Thank you to YouTube memberships and, and, and Patreon memberships for having my back. Appreciate you guys as well. Thank you, I'm Jake Baldino. Subscribe because video games, pizza's on me.